In this video, we're going to be discussing why most diesel engines require two, three, four, or multiple separate sets of batteries to start or charge their system. Hey guys, Josh with the Adept Ape channel, and in this video, we're going to be discussing why most diesel engines have more than one battery in them. So if you're looking for the quick answer, basically diesel engines typically draw more current in order to start them and you need more than one battery to create enough current to turn the starter to crank the engine. That's the quick answer. If you want to know why that is, stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Okay, so there's going to be different parts of this video, but the first one is why do diesel engines require more current to the starter in order to crank them over? Well, typically diesels are harder starting in general. Let's take two similar in displacement size engines. Let's say a Cummins 5.9 and a Chevy 350, which is a 5.7 liter. Typically, your gas engine, the 5.7 liter, just needs one battery. But most trucks that are going to have a 5.9 probably going to have two batteries, even though the displacement is similar. Why is that? Well, there's many reasons, but... The biggest one is compression ratio. So what that is, is the amount of air that enters the combustion chamber compared to the amount of air volume when it's compressed at the top of the piston stroke. Gas engines are typically nine to one, 10 to one. Diesels can be much higher. They can be 15, 16, 17, sometimes 20 to one compression ratio. And that is much harder on the starter while you're starting because you're compressing more air into a smaller space. Now, what other reasons are there? Well, diesels typically have a higher viscosity oil, which means the oil is a thicker viscosity. And especially in colder climates, it's harder to turn the crankshaft to pump the oil through your bearings while starting compared to a gas engine, which typically runs a lighter weight oil. What else? Well, diesels can be harder starting as well due to their fuel system, depending on the style of fuel system, of course. The very old style high pressure pumps were typically easier starting than the Huey system and the electronic unit injectors found on most of the heavier duty diesel truck engines. Most newer trucks that are going to have a common rail system, which are very good for starting, even in cold conditions, but still... They have high compression ratios, typically thicker oil, heavier components, a lot of reasons there. Not only that, some diesels are going to have cold starting or pre-starting aids. Now, what can those be? Well, those can be glow plugs, inlet air heaters, things like that. And what those are going to do is they're going to help heat up the intake air or the combustion chamber to help the diesel start easier. And typically, these are some sort of heater grid or a resistor type glow plug and they draw a fair amount of current, maybe up to almost 100 amps, which a very small car engine might draw 100 amps to crank. But these items by themselves might be drawing that just to heat up the intake charge. So that's another reason why diesels might draw a little more current than your average gas engine while starting or before starting. Now, I'm sure I'll get this comment if I don't make this statement. Not all diesel engines have multiple batteries. In fact, not all diesels need multiple batteries. Most car diesel engines are fairly small in displacement, and a single battery will do. But typically, once you start getting up 6, 7, 8 liters and above, you're going to need additional cranking amps. That doesn't necessarily mean you need two batteries, though. Now, let's discuss the battery differences. There's no such thing as a diesel battery. Your batteries are typically 12 volt, even the ones where there's multiple batteries. These are typically ran in parallel, which means the positive of each battery is connected to the positive of the other batteries or battery, and the negative of each battery is connected to the negative or negatives of the other batteries or battery. And this allows for each battery to put out whatever cranking amps is demanded of it by the starter. So could a 12 volt diesel engine start on a single battery? Yes, it could, as long as the cranking amp rating of the battery is high enough. So a normal, let's say a 24 
a group 24 battery, that's not the voltage, that's the group size, you might have, let's say, 800 cranking amps. If your engine requires 800 cranking amps to start, this battery would work. But if your battery starts getting weak or you have to end up cranking for an extended period because, let's say, you have a bad injector or low fuel pressure, the battery might fail on you because it's, even though it's capable of putting out enough current, it doesn't have enough reserve capacity. Now, let's compare that to a 8D heavy-duty battery. This is also a 12-volt battery, but notice the difference in the cranking amps, the amp hours, also the weight, and the price is going to be considerably higher. So if you have, say, a 600 cranking amp battery in your car and your starter pulls 400 amps, that's going to start the engine. If your diesel engine requires, let's say, 800 amps and you have a 600 amp battery, the battery's not going to be able to put out enough current to properly start the engine. Now, if you had two 600 amp batteries ran in parallel, you would have 1,200 cranking amps available to you. And depending on the size of the engine and the size of the starter, that is going to be what determines what kind of current draw is coming out of your batteries. Now, most trucks are 12 volt systems. Some specialty trucks, though, can be 24 volt systems, as well as tour buses, some RVs, equipment, generators, boats. Those can be 24 volt systems. And in those setups, they typically have to have two batteries. And the reason for that is the 12 volt batteries are ran in series. Now, what is series? Well, series is where you basically connect one battery to the other one, which will double the voltage of the batteries, but not increase the cranking amp rating of the battery. And I'll show you this little experiment to see what I'm talking about. So in this little experiment, we have two D cell batteries, and they are 1.5 volts each. And we're going to show you what happens when you series them. So each battery will be independently one and a half volts DC. And I'll measure the other one as well. And then we'll put them in series. Now this will work on any DC battery. You can see what happens if you touch them together. Okay, just kidding. So what we've done here is we've connected the positive to the negative of the other and they're effectively in series. So what it does is it doubles the voltage. So if you're running a 24 volt setup, which most diesel pickups are not gonna have a 24 volt, they're gonna be a 12 volt setup, you would need a series setup similar to this. So if you if you have to work on heavy equipment or you hear some about series, that's what they're talking about, where two batteries are not connected to increase the cranking amps, they're connected to increase the voltage of the system. What about an RV setup where there's different sets of batteries and some may be 6 volt, some may be 12 volt, and they're all in the coach? Let's talk about that. Well, typically an RV is going to have chassis batteries and it's going to have deep cycle house batteries. So this is a pretty typical site on an RV. The three batteries on the right side that are the brown darkish brown color and the one on the ground were all together and they were in something called series parallel where you were using two sets of six volts in parallel to create a 12 volt deep cycle system and then there's the two on the left the black batteries and those are your chassis starting batteries so why would you want deep cycle batteries in your rv or in your boat well Deep cycle batteries are not meant for cranking. They're meant for long term at moderate rates of discharge of amperage. And there's a big difference between them and cranking batteries. Typically, a cranking battery is not meant to be discharged all the way down to where there's basically very little current potential left in the battery. That'll damage the battery. A deep cycle battery, on the other hand, is not meant to put out a lot of amps in short bursts. It's meant to put out a moderate amount of amps or a low amount of amps for a very long time and can be discharged multiple times without hurting the battery. And the difference is really the plate thickness internal of the battery. 
So let's look at some of the specs. These are uh, golf cart batteries, which a golf cart doesn't really start since it uses an electric motor for propulsion. But you might be using these in an RV or some other setup where you don't need a ton of cranking amps for your house side of an RV, but you need a deep cycle battery because you need a lot of amps over a long period of time. Well, I hope that battery video helped explain why a diesel engine would require more amps during starting, why a diesel engine might have multiple batteries, two, three, four, or more, and what series and parallel is, the difference between the different battery sizes, a deep cycle, and a normal starting battery. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you.